All right, y'all. So it looks like Vivi is partnered with some more sketchy companies. And um, someone is actually making a video, I guess, trying to warn people before somebody gets slapped with some type of other unfortunate circumstance. So, yeah, we're going to dive into this video, see what type of information is being presented, y'all. As always, drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let's jump into it. Let's see what he's talking about. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another FAD report, facts, analysis, and data. And this is going to be about Neom, the payment provider for uh, Vivi. Uh, I wrote about this many, many months ago when uh, Vivi shifted over from Wire to Neom. I decided at that time not to make, make a video because of the f feedback, kind of negative feedback I got from the Bitforex article when I posted it that uh, it was a fake exchange. And I'm not saying Neom is, is fake yet, but um, let, let's look at the information. And I'm doing it, you know, because of the um, Bitforex issue. And uh, got to remember that we're passing them our um, PII, personal um, identifiable information and other financial data. So uh, Neom is a payment provider, and let's look at the licenses. They said they they have eleven they have licenses in eleven jurisdictions. So Australia, Canada, United States, European Union, United uh, United Kingdom, Hong Kong, India, Indonesia, Japan, Malaysia, Singapore. So I I don't know about all all the other um uh, countries. I'm going to sp speak specifically to. Um, the United States, and notice they also have another group called Ixaris, which is Neom Travel. What the heck is that? They have a travel thing. Okay, but let's look at the U.S. and I'm specifically at the U.S. So it says here, Neom Inc. operates in the United States under a program sponsored by Community, Community Federal Savings Bank, to which Neom is a service provider. XRS USA LLC, a limited liability company registered under the laws of Delaware, USA, and operates under a program sponsored by the Metropolitan Commercial Ban. They can't even get spelled bank correctly. Bank. So XRS USA is Neom Travel. So let's just look at Neom and who is Community Federal Savings Bank. And this is what I wrote about previously. So when you go to um, the FDIC site, you get this address, 8916 Jamaica Avenue, Woodhaven, New York, 11421. So where is this? So when you punch it into Google Maps, you get this. So they're basically a little office in a shopping mall so let's let's look at the check out this area here wow real high-end bank here here let's look <laughs> at the exterior of the bank a door awesome but here's here's the scary part let's look at the reviews and you can check it out for yourself I'll punch it into Google Maps. These guys own issue wise, got hacked, multiple high figure charges. This is not a real bank. It's set up for fraudulent operations. Three weeks ago, someone's using this bank as a base for some fraud ops. And more reviews. It goes, this bank is partnered with WISE as I was trying to link my bank for ACA. Someone hacked my account and withdraw 24K fraudulent charges. Hacked. Works as worst excuse for a bank possible. What? This is VV's payment? Bro, this is this is who's processing VV's payments, bro? Like, seriously? Like, this is who we've given all our information to? Hey, what they what they doing, bro? Like how they how are they choosing this stuff, and why is it that random people in the community 
is doing more more research and due diligence into this stuff than they are. Are they are they literally just this incompetent? Or are they sketchy themselves? I don't know, bro. Like, cause even if I can believe in David Yu and his integrity, he like if he does not know about all this stuff, or he like he has to be one foolish guy when it comes to everything outside of collectibles. Outside, of, it's 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 insane. Like you can't just be in this space falling for any and everything, and it's like every bad decision that can be made. It seems like VV is making. And these are pretty recent. So this is how Neom is doing business in the United States. Now let's see if they have a money transfer license. So when you look up Neom, they have two District of Columbia and Illinois. So 49 states, they have no MTL money transfer license in the state and thus are probably transferring money in those states illegally. So again, it's like, well, you know, we're going to get the going to get the uh, feedbacks as well. You know, obviously nothing's going wrong. They haven't been, you know, they're still doing business. You know, these guys are small, just like Bitforex, right? I mean, that was the same argument I got with Bitforex. It's like, well, Bitforex is a big exchange and, you know, nobody shut them down. Well, check it out. MTL, money transfer, transmitter license is required to do business, transfer money legally in the United States. Neom has two. So if you think I'm crying wolf, there's even more information here. In February of 2nd, 2024, this article showed up where the Secret Service recovered nearly $3 million stolen from a North Carolina housing authority in a BEC scam. So in this um, community, Federal Savings Bank was mentioned. So uh, last April, two NHHFA employees received emails from an account pretending to be from an innovative emergency management, a private company that contracts with the agency to dole out funds. The emails requested that the employees within the financing department update payment information for IEM. Upon request, the sender provided a voided check for the new account at Community Federal Savings Bank and the agency wired over $2.7 million. NHFHA then, was then contacted by its bank, Wells Fargo, which urged them to verify that the new account was legitimate. After contacting IEM and discovering that the email address used by the sender was slightly different, they immediately filed a report online with the FBI's internet Crime Complaint Center. Four days later, on April 24th, an analyst with the Secret Service took up the case. In response to requests from investigators, Community Federal Savings Bank informed them that the account was actually managed by Currency Cloud. Now, this is interesting. An international currency transfer service bought by Visa for nearly one billion in 2021, according to court documents, Currency Cloud partners with the bank to conduct wire transfers in states where it is not licensed to carry out transactions. Now, does this sound familiar? Hmm. Let's look at Currency Cloud. But yeah, I mean, that's crazy. And this is Currency Cloud right here. And in the United States, look at this explanation. Services may be provided in the United States under the sponsorship by Community Federal Savings Bank, to which the Currency Cloud Limited is a service provider, or by Currency Cloud Inc., pursuant to money transmitter regulations of various states where it is licensed. Currency Cloud is registered with FinCEN under their whatever. Okay? But here's what's interesting. So if you're look Looking at this, and Currency Cloud is trying to be legit. Give them credit. They they list their um uh their MTL licenses, and they don't have all fifty states. Hawaii is not one of them. Also, New York is not one of them. I didn't do a detailed comparison of which states are listed and which are not, but that's not fifty states right there. By right, they're only supposed to do business in the states that are listed. 
and they're partnered with Community Federal Savings Bank. Who else is partnered with Community Federal Savings Bank? Look at WISE, Money Transfer, local, their local branch, hmm, Community Federal Savings Bank. So these companies that are transferring money internationally are going through Community Federal Savings Bank in the United States to send money. And how are they doing this? Mainly by wire transfer and ACH. Neum and WISE. And so since all of these companies are using Community Federal Savings Banks, I mean, this could definitely be something, but could it be that Community Federal Savings Bank is using something else? So maybe Community Federal Savings Bank is actually under some other bank where that bank does have all the things that it needs and it kind of goes it ties down and goes down to community federal savings bank but if that was the case why would they need to be have their own license in, in just illinois but yeah i'm just wondering like could it could it be that maybe they have like some type of other partners or something that makes it okay for them to do what they're doing but I don't know. This is definitely sketching. This is above me, so I wouldn't know. I'm just playing devil's advocate. And Currency Cloud are some of the some of the companies that are doing it. There's actually even another one, which um, I'll show you right now to give you an idea of what this company is targeting. So this article is from October 21st of 2023. Solve 100 million warehouse debt facility to help immigrants gain access to financial services. And it says here, Zolve is a financial company, not a bank. The Zolve debit card, Zolve credit card, and Aspire credit card are issued by Community Federal Service Bank, member FDIC. And, you know, and the Zolve account is offered by Community Federal Savings Bank. In February 2021, Zolve raised $15 million in seed funding. So, I mean, Community Federal Savings Bank is like, they're getting a lot of partners. Are they tricking all these people? I mean... Because they work with a lot of people, and didn't that article say that they were talking directly with the FBI, helping the FBI or something like that? So it would seem weird that they got all this going on, and then they helping the Fed. So maybe, like, best case scenario, they just are shitty. They're shitty at customer service, so people hate them, or they're like, I don't know. Because, yeah, this is all weird. They're basically targeting the uh, money transfer um between countries or individuals that are not able to um, go through the normal quote unquote process. Now, this isn't the first time Community Federal Savings Bank has gotten in, uh, into trouble. So in 2011, this order was issued from the United States of America before the Office of Thrift Supervision against Community Federal Savings Bank, Woodhaven, New York, and its order to cease and desist. Uh, mainly it's because, uh, you, you can read it for yourself, it's kind of a long document, but, um, you know, it, it be, the, the gist of it, it says, you know, it's operating with an inadequate level of capital protection for the volume, you know, inadequate earnings and excessive level of adversely classified loans and non-performing assets. So this bank has been on the a radar of the government for, for quite a while, but, you know, unfortunately, they're still doing business. The cease and desist order was lifted in January of 2022, so they were under it for 11 years, and now they're back at it again. The bank is also mentioned in some PayPal scams as this woman lost 49k, and there are more. PayPal, on the PayPal site, bank transfer for a little over 3k, community federal savings bank account. So... All this information is out there, you know, so that's why you got to be careful, do your own research. So be careful of where you give your financial information to. So maybe it's, they have it with Ixares, Neom Travel, no matches found. Now, Ixares 
is partnered with Metropolitan Commercial Bank. So there's there are a number of small metropolitan commercial banks in New York. I think, but I'm not sure, they're associated with Metropolitan Bank Holding, which is MCB on the New York Stock Exchange. So this seems to be a legit company. It has revenue, but you know, I mean, but that's just for Neom Travel. Who knows how Neom is linked with Neom Travel slash Ixares. I think Neom Travel is related to payment processing for travel companies, but do your own research here. So anyway, I just wanted to make this short video to show you um, there's more shady operations out there. So protect your, your information and if you're sending these guys your uh, financial information, more power to you. Good luck. Be careful. Um, I'm just providing you the, the facts, the analysis, and the data. You can look it up yourself. I'll put all the references in the, in the video. Please remember the information in this video is specifically focused on the U.S. And I, for one, am not going to be cashing out in BV anytime soon. Uh, um, I'm a Diamond One. I have almost um, 750 uh, comics. And the reason why I will not cash out is because I don't want to give my financial information uh, to these companies that VV's partnered with. You know, I really hope that they um, they change and go to something more mainstream. But it is what it is for now. And mm. again, I'm not crying wolf here. Um, I was the one who broke the information on Wise and also on Bitforex. So... Um, I'm trying to do my own research. I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just trying to protect the my hard-earned money. So do what you want with it. I really hope this all changes. We also have to remember that this is the Wild West. This is the dawn of a new industry. But we also have to look back at history. And the new industries evolve. And the ones, the companies that survive are the ones that are going to bring the uh, products and the practices into the mainstream. That re that means complying with laws and regulation. I'm a big supporter of regulation. So let's hope that comes. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and aloha. Yeah, this was a great video, man. Great job. Great job. I'm going to leave this video link down below and this channel, of course. But yeah, this was amazing. Now, this there's a lot of information. This is kind of scary, bro. This is kind of scary stuff because, yeah, and, and it makes you have to question Vivi. It's like, what are y'all doing? Like, why are you doing this? It's like, are you all genuinely just this incompetent? Like, are you all this shit at what you do? Is it something we don't know? I mean, but then again, if it's something we don't know, I wouldn't trust that Vivi knows it because then look at Bitforex. It's like, what are, what are they doing bro like what are they doing but there we have it man let me know what you all think i, w I i'm definitely not doing no cashing out no time soon now that i'm seeing all this so yeah let me know what you all think be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe and turn notifications and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out fam